Let's explore cumulative flow diagrams. These diagrams help in visualizing workflow and identifying bottlenecks in Agile projects. A cumulative flow diagram is a visual tool that displays the quantity of work in different states over time. It shows the flow, bottlenecks, and delivery trends in your process. It shows work distribution across workflow states. It visualizes cycle time and work in progress. It also identifies bottlenecks and process issues and tracks throughput and delivery rate. Let's discuss the key components of a cumulative flow diagram. First is the arrival rate. This is the rate at which new work items enter the system and is shown by the slope of the top line. Next is the departure rate, the rate at which work items are completed, shown by the slope of the bottom line. Work in progress, abbreviated as WIP, is the vertical distance between the top and bottom lines at any point in time. Cycle time is the horizontal distance between the top and bottom lines, showing the time to complete work. Let's learn how to read a cumulative flow diagram. Parallel bands with consistent spacing indicate smooth flow of work through the system. Widening bands show work accumulating in a particular stage, indicating a process constraint. Sudden upward shifts in the top line indicate new work being added to the backlog. A steeper slope of the bottom line indicates increased completion rate of work items. Let's learn how to identify bottlenecks using cumulative flow diagrams. Bottlenecks appear as widening bands in your CFD, indicating work is accumulating in a specific stage faster than it's moving to the next stage. When a band's vertical height increases over time, work is piling up in that stage. A horizontal lower edge of a band indicates no work is moving to the next stage. Growing horizontal distance between bands signals longer time to complete work. Let's see how to optimize workflow with cumulative flow diagrams. Use CFD patterns to implement targeted improvements that optimize your workflow and eliminate bottlenecks. Establish work in progress or WIP limits for each workflow stage to prevent overloading and maintain smooth flow. Shift team capacity to bottleneck stages to increase throughput where it's most needed. Simplify or automate steps in bottleneck stages to reduce processing time. Regularly review CFDs to identify emerging bottlenecks before they impact delivery. Let's see the tools and steps for implementing cumulative flow diagrams. Some popular tools for creating CFDs are Jira, which has built-in CFD reports in Jira software with real-time data visualization and customizable workflow states. Next is Azure DevOps which has comprehensive analytics with CFD widgets that can be added to custom dashboards. Trello Plus plugins has third-party plugins that add CFD capabilities to Trello boards for visual tracking. Excel or Google Sheets can be used to create custom CFDs using spreadsheet data and area charts for teams with simpler requirements. Now let's see the implementation steps. First, define workflow states clearly, each stage in your process that work items flow through. Gather data on when items entered and exited each workflow state. Set up your chosen tool to display the cumulative count of items by state over time. Schedule regular reviews of your CFD to identify trends and take action. Let's see the best practices and a summary of what we learned. Ensure all team members update work item status promptly and accurately. Look for patterns over time, rather than reacting to daily fluctuations. Use enough workflow states to be meaningful, but not so many that the CFD becomes cluttered. Use CFDs alongside cycle time, throughput, and quality metrics for a complete view. In summary, cumulative flow diagrams provide powerful visual insights into your workflow, helping teams identify bottlenecks, optimize processes, and improve delivery predictability. Key takeaways are CFDs visualize work distribution across workflow states over time. Widening bands indicate bottlenecks requiring attention and regular analysis helps maintain optimal flow and predictable delivery. As a next step, start implementing CFDs in your team's workflow, establish regular review sessions, and use the insights to drive continuous improvement in your agile process.
If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.